Hello everybody, my name is Wavemaster and welcome back to part 7 of my Amnesia at the Dark Descent Let's Play. So we ended up here and I'm just exploring the study room and seeing what I could find. I found, I believe, a tinderbox in there. And let's continue. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be anything too interesting so far. Just some dog noises? That's it? Okay. Um, ooh. Something's out there for sure. Maybe I could go out there? Come on. I want to go outside. No? Okay. Hmm. To my most trusted student and friend, Joan Ware. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have, oh, I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inex inexplicable as the heli oh, heliodromes described in the Hortus Conclusions. Wow, these are some big words. It was as it was told about, an underground mithric temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The ore was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. This color washed while rich. Contrast is, is not enough to describe in this nature. its nature. It was an impossibly an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstadt, investigating one of the antique trailer, uh, antiquated trails. When I finally found the cavern, I w went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these en enigmatic artifacts. They were real. Ooh, that is so much. You know what? Yeah, I'm not going to read all of that, but you could go ahead and pause and read that. I still have bad English, apparently. can't even read that for Puhawa. Right now. Okay, so nothing else in here? Okay, I'm out of here. Hmm, anything up there? No. 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 Let's see anything here. Maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very dark. Maybe. Uh oh. Blood everywhere. Hmm. Let's see what you have to offer. <clears throat> ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. What was he doing to these poor dogs? Animal cruelty. <gasps> Birdie! No, the bird's dead. This is like, not right at all. He's like, murdering dogs and he's like, sewing them back together. Birds are Posted on walls. This isn't good at all. Let's see anything else here? Hammer? Maybe? Oh my God! That doesn't look right at all. Let me see. Chambers of the human skull. Okay, that doesn't sound right either. Just maybe hitting people's skulls in or something. Understanding balance. Milestones of human anatomy. Understanding locomotion. Of oh, the canine jaw. Wow. Doesn't sound like he was doing anything nice. Why are, why are these guys naked? Okay, I'm not even gonna look at that. Um. All right. Let's move this chair a little bit. I like the painting though. I think that was always. On. Oh my god. Ooh, skulls. Maybe this is his skull. Oh wait, 
Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, I thought it was glitching inside. Oh no, my oil. Darn it. Let's see this. Okay, this one isn't that long. 1658, January 9th. Further disappointment. Oh my god, these long words though. The antiquarians. The latest findings yielded nothing. I, I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its realization of, to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I, res, I suspect it will be in vain. Since no res, research has been made in the particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly, humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. So I guess he was trying to use animals instead of people to like work on his experiments to harvest like energy and power from them. It still sounds very bad. Anything here like under this that I need? No, maybe? No? Okay. So these guys are naked. Um, I don't see anything in here is like that I really need. So let's just go back to the guest room. Over here. Oh no! Oh hey, oil. So maybe the crack window of the panes held together. Okay, maybe I could like hit it with the chair. I could go outside. Enjoy the weather and see something scary, maybe. Bam! Woo! Woo! But really quick, before I do that, I actually want to go back to the other room and see if I could uh, see what's in the guest room over there. I remember that I have a what do you call it? Crowbar, and I think I could use that to break open the other room. I don't know why I didn't like realize that in the first place, but I do know that now but let's see if it will work Ooh, nice music though to the guest room there you go so now let's go ahead in here get the maybe a needle maybe a needle will work no Okay, oh, yep, there we go. The crowbar does work. Come on. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Can I pick it up? No, it's broken. The key. Please let it be here. Ooh, key, where? <gasps> oh, oh, cool. I just picked it up right on the spot. Oh, thank God. There it is. Aha, the key. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, this time. Can I pick? Oh, 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 I have to break it. Bam. Yeah. Progress. <gasps> Machine room key. That's where we could go next. First, let's see anything else in here. 4th of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Okay, so it's saying that it could have been molded together by a factory, but it's like not even humanistic because it would like change its like shape and everything, but it finally like can join together. That's just very odd. It doesn't seem right. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay, I guess the music's kind of the same. Is that real? No. Oh, yep. He's real. He's real. Hi. No, no. Don't want to say hi. I give up. No. Oh! oh. Hello. Oh. 
He was fat. He's fat. Maybe he, he won't come back in here. I doubt it. He went in there. Oh no, that's where I need to go. No. Let's keep this open just in case he comes back. Shoot. Screw it. I'm just going to go for it. Man, hopefully he's not there. I was just looking behind me to see what's up. Uh, where'd he go? Hello? Not there. Thank God. Okay, let's go to study. Fine, no need to worry, it's just a monster and okay, this looks very careful here. This is definitely safe. Uh oh, look at this. Look at this. Professional. What oh more red goop? Come on. Oh, ooh, a secret room. Wait, can I go more down there? See what's nope, nothing looks like there's down there, so uh, what is this? The purchasing decelerator. Oh, okay, that looks like some kind of medical equipment elevator. Oh no, these are just like to help with the machine, the elevator, basically. When will I be in my turn? When will it be my turn? Have I not shown re restraint? My patient spans centuries. From where I came. Mankind is not even wasted at breath. Yet, I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I it was I who in all fairness should have entered the gate that gate. But what gate though? Maybe the gate to the elevator? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, oil. Sweet. Gotta pick that. Nope. Um, what's this? Instructions. Okay, I'll probably read this later whenever I start putting it together, but I could tell I probably need this. Picked up flow cycle rod. Woo! Yeah, flow cycle rod. Progress. Now I can go ahead and go in here, see what's up. At least I don't probably have to worry about a grunt or anything. Hopefully. Um, anything in there? Nope. And a dead end. I think that's all I needed in here. So now I could go back. That'd be great. Maybe see that monster again? I don't know. I don't want to. But the Okay, these trees are falling like crazy. Oh no! Did I no no the the Oh wow, thank god. Okay, I thought I was gonna die. Okay. Hop. Hop. Alright, it's all good. It's all good. Let's get out of here. Let's get to start heading towards the machine room. This all sounds to be coming together pretty well. Hmm. I don't think he likes it though. Oh! A body piece. Oh my god, this is a big guy. This looks like a big body. Damn, this guy was like buff or something. He's like, he's huge. Alright, let's keep going down here, see what we can find. Huh. Baby! Oh, wait. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. I guess this is based off Daniel whenever he was younger, but. All right, well, we'll save this machine room and everything for the next part. Thank you so much for watching. Like and favorite if you've enjoyed. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye.